From the first day its equipment was switched on in 2016, the Lisa Pathfinder mission exceeded all expectations. This mission has been outstanding. In every aspect of it, from the operations, from the hardware, from the development, it's just been a wonderful mission. Lisa Pathfinder was built to test the technology on board the future Lisa mission that will detect gravitational waves from space. These ripples in space-time, first predicted by Einstein over a century ago and about the millionth of the size of an atom, are produced by violent cosmic events such as exploding stars. Three, two, one, top. The mission was launched in December 2015, the same year that a ground-based detector, LIGO, confirmed the existence of gravitational waves for the first time, from the merger of two black holes. It was a huge achievement, and the new LISA mission will be able to expand upon it, detecting gravitational waves from galactic size events. When galaxies merge together, events of these black holes collide. And when that happens, it rips the universe apart. And we're looking for that universe vibrating uh, from these merge of these big, big events. Something you can never, ever do that on the ground. So LIGO will never be able to see the events that we see with LISA. The LISA Pathfinder is a demonstration mission. So it wasn't actually detecting gravitational waves, but it's proven that we know how to do it. We can go to space, we can build LISA, and we can then do this whole new science. LISA Pathfinder did something extraordinary. It placed two metal cubes in freefall, shielded from all forces apart from gravity, with unprecedented precision. LISA will build on this achievement, but will consist of not one, but three spacecraft. So the big difference between LISA and LISA Pathfinder is the, ten the length of the arm. So in LISA Pathfinder, we had two gold platinum cubes in our spacecraft, and they were separated by about 40 centimetres. Whereas in LISA, the little cubes are separated by two and a half million kilometres. So to put that in perspective, that's about six times the distance to the moon. So it's, it's a long, long way. In the final weeks of its lifetime, scientists continued to analyse LISA Pathfinder data to help with the design of the new LISA mission. When complete, it will look at a new part of the spectrum of gravitational waves, opening up the universe to a new science. Gravitational waves allow us to see the dark side of the universe, so the things which are not shining light, for example, black holes. So now we can actually go out there and we can really observe these things which we've got no other way to see. Uh, and also, their gravitational waves were predicted by Einstein, and this is one of the main pillars of general relativity. And with LIGO, and even better with LISA, we can really start to probe general relativity and see that is actually a theory which governs the gravity of the universe. When LISA launches in 2034, it will be able to detect gravitational waves from objects up to 100 times the mass of our Sun. But none of that would have been possible without LISA Pathfinder, as its success has paved the way for a whole new window into the mysteries of our universe.